Welcome to 3D Fish, where we test what's prickable and what's practical. You're watching the 100% 3D printed series, where we explore the limits of personal manufacturing with nothing more than a 3D printer. Today we're diving into something every mobile filmmaker should track, a fully 3D printed smartphone camera rig. Let me show you something cool. I was looking for a phone rig that I'd only use occasionally. Even the cheapest ones I found were around 20 US dollars, and the good ones? Anywhere from 70 to 100 dollars. For something I don't use daily, I just couldn't justify the cost. Then I came across a design that solved the problem perfectly. A 100% 3D printable smartphone camera rig. This is the UniRig, a fully 3D printed phone cage designed by DNX3D to turn your smartphone into a legit video rig. It's completely printable. If you have a 3D printer, you can make this at home. The UniRig is available exclusively on MakerWorld. It's a free model that's functional, modular, and surprisingly well thought out. It fits most smartphones and works even with cases. You get two side handles for grip, cold shoe mounts for accessories like mics and lights, optional top handles, and even a bottom stand if you need one. There are two main grip styles, short and long. The long version includes a cold shoe slot for even more mounting options. And if you want to personalize it, there are four different grip textures to choose from. You can even print them in TPU for comfort, though I went with Pedgy since I'll only be using it occasionally. Printing was fairly smooth. The default 3MF files work fine for most parts and can be printed directly from the Bamboo Handy app. However, some plates are cluttered with too many parts, so it's a bit confusing if you only want to print certain components. To make it easier, I created a custom print profile with organized plates. Each handle type and add-on now has its own plate, so you can select exactly what you need. I also separated the screws onto their own plate and printed them with 75% infill and six wall loops to prevent breakage. A standard setup, cage, handles, grips, and a top handle takes about nine hours to print. Assembly is straightforward and DNX3D provides a basic guide. Just remove supports and slide in the handles of your choice. There are three handle variations, short, long with a bottom cold shoe, and long with a side mounted cold shoe. You can mix and match depending on your rig needs. It works best with a phone case or a rubber band to keep your phone secure. And here's something exciting. The designer is actively updating the model and has confirmed that more accessories like power bank holders and SSD mounts are on the way. So this rig will only get better with time. Now here's the part that really matters. A decent commercial phone cage from brands like SmallRig or Ulanzi will cost you 60 to $100 and handles often cost extra. This one? I printed the entire setup for around six US dollars worth of PETG. No screws, no metal, just filament. Made right at home. And yes, it actually performs. The handles provide great grip. The cold shoe mounts are perfect for lights, microphones, or battery packs. It adds just enough structure and balance to make your phone footage feel far more stable and professional. I chose PETG for durability especially since it won't deform if I leave it in a hot car during summer. But you could use PLA, TPU for grips, or go creative with dual color prints. That's what makes 3D printing so powerful. Instead of buying off the shelf gear, you're printing tools that are customized to your needs. You can remix it, personalize it, improve it, and save money doing it. If you're into content creation, vlogging, or just want a better way to shoot on your phone, try the Unirig. Links in the description. Before I wrap up, here are two things I think could be improved. First, the phone isn't centered in the cage. It's off to one side, which isn't a deal breaker, but it does throw off balance slightly when framing or handling. Second, the phone clamp really needs a TPU insert. Right now, it grips well if you use a phone case or add a rubber band, but if you're using your phone bare, it's not secure. A flexible insert would make it much more universal. Still, for a fully 3D printed rig that costs under 10 bucks and keeps evolving, the Unirig is absolutely worth a print.